Hey gamers, Rick here with uh, Game Trade Media. We're still here at Gamma in Reno, Nevada. It's it's quite beautiful here, I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, we've the high got, desert. Uh, so good. <laughs> we've got Ian here from Catan Studio to talk to us about a Hello? new Catan. Yes, upcoming uh, release for quarter three this year. Catan Histories: Rise of the Incas. Um, the Histories line for Catan uh, has a number of titles in it now, okay. and it takes an era of human history and explores it through the game of Catan. So. Uh, in Merchants in Europe, of Europe, you are building trade routes uh, throughout Europe and delivering goods. In Settlers of America, you are expanding railroads out west. Okay. Um, and in Catan Rise of the Incas, we're exploring the rise and fall of civilizations that lead to great empires. In this case, the Inca Empire of the Andean region of Peru. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, we're really excited for this. It's the uh, newest uh, design by Benjamin and Klaus Teuber. Nice. And uh, well, there's there's a lot to it, and we're. we're well, I'm, I'm looking at the board here, and I see that there's some new little devices that aren't normal in a Catan game. Like I see that there's something that is going around a, a, a town or city here. Yep. Uh, so uh, for for Rise of the Inca, we have all new sculpts, um, uh, reminiscent of. Uh, Incan architecture, okay. um, and uh, uh, they're they're famous for their roads uh, and 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 their their their, their peak, uh, peaked peaked roof uh, buildings, um, and also we have uh, vines that represent uh, the the jungle, and I'll, I'll I can explain that in a minute. Um, so the basic gameplay uh, we have this is a prototype, okay. uh, and so we we have a few of the pieces here, um, but the basic gameplay is um, much like regular Catan, mm -hmm. uh, where you're collecting resources. Uh, spending those resources, trading those resources to uh, build settlements, roads, upgrade the cities, trade with your uh, opponents, buy development cards. Um, uh, and as you go through this game, though, however, you will be progressing through three different eras. Um, and once you hit a victory point threshold, uh, okay. Let's say you're in the first era and you hit a victory point threshold of, I believe it's four. We have a little cheat uh, sheet right here. Uh, the first one? So right down there, yeah. yeah. It's four uh, victory points. Four victory points yep. with the first tribe to advance. You uh, then, uh, you immediately remove all of your roads built from the board. Any settlements you have on the board, you cover in a vine piece. And then you choose an open area of the board, uh, respecting the distance rule of Catan, uh, to then place a new settlement where you will begin uh, the next era from. And uh, you'll, do, cool. you'll, you'll do that uh, an additional time, and then when you hit the third victory point threshold, you have, uh, you have won the game uh, and, uh, and ushered in the, the Incan Empire. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so y you can see that there's a, a, as you see each opponent reaching their, the, the height of their particular era, you're going to want to start uh, positioning yourself uh, to be able to take advantage of their se se settlements in decline. Okay. Um, because once a settlement is covered in uh, vines that been reclaimed by the jungle, that uh, that player still receives resources during the production okay. stage, but also that settlement can be can no, longer be can no longer be built from, but it can be built over. So you can build over your own settlement to continue on building roads and okay. upgrading the cities, but your opponents can do it too. So nice. if you had a really prime spot for, uh, say, a really prime, prime wheat and ore location, okay. um, your opponent can go, well, now I'm going to build over there, and it's mine now. Nice. Uh, so uh, there's a... There's Squatters. <laughs> uh, there's, there's more of a long-term, uh, kind of a long-term planning strategy uh, in right. this game uh, uh, than, than base Catan. Um, and it also uh, has a few other nuanced rules. Uh, as opposed uh, as uh, in reference to the longest road and the, the largest army because nice. um, uh, each era you have uh, a little bit uh, as you remove your roads it's kind of hard to keep the, that longest road right. so what the longest road gives you in, in this is a trade advantage okay. uh, a, a one time use um, and, and the largest army allows you to do uh, special things with the robber and here we have nice. the, the sculpt of the uh, of the new robber with uh, some uh, uh, Andean warriors Potentially Incan warriors uh, and their uh, and their trusty uh, Yama. I love uh, <laughs> And the, on this sculpt, one of the warriors has one of the ancient Incan blades, or you know, the war, where it has like the obsidian in inserted into the the wood. Yeah, it looks uh, so nice. I wish I knew. Uh, I don't know what that, that's called. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the the basic resources are are, are, are fairly the same. Uh, we we have uh, ore, wood. Uh, here we have. Um, 
uh, potatoes or, or, or crops. Okay. Um, and instead of sheep, we have we have llamas or, or llamas. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then then breaker clay. Nice. Uh, and you also have commodities uh, that you can acquire from the jungle and the ocean uh, that you're able to uh, trade um, as uh, as you would resources. Mm -hmm. And also uh, you can combine them to to get other resources. Very nice. Yeah. What and uh, I see feathers, fish uh, and cocoa. Cocoa. Yep. Okay. Yep. Very and cool. uh, yeah, uh, great new art, all brand new art tile pieces. Um, the, the box art looks great. The yep. tile art, I mean, when you were laying this out and I'm looking at the feather art on the jungle and stuff, it's like, this is, uh, like most Catan Studio games, if not all, the artwork is very reminiscent to the era that you're yes. playing in. Yeah. Because uh, I also see, like, the stepped ruins in, mm -hmm. in where the, the farming is taking place. It's, it's, it's great and it looks amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really beautifully done. Yeah, very yeah, cool. And uh, it's, it's, and I'm, I'm not just saying this because I'm you know, the, the hype man for Catan here. <laughs> um, but this this is my, my, my current favorite Catan game, and I'm really looking forward to, nice. to come out uh, in, in quarter three. So this will be, wh what, right around the August to uh, October time frame then? Yeah, it, uh, it, it's l l likely early September. Okay. Uh, we, we, we might have it in time for Gen Con. Uh, well, we're still a little fuzzy on the exact detail. But Fingers de crossed, everybody. But definitely quarter three. Okay. Yep. Uh, right, and so uh, pre-orders for this will be opening uh, pretty soon after the show. Uh, and uh, so you can get in contact with your Alliance uh, Asthma North America specialist. Um, <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> Just a you know, little little plug. Ah-ha-ha. Uh -huh. Hey. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, that's that's Catan Rise of the Inca in, in, in a nutshell. All right. In a coconut shell. In a, co in a coconut <laughs> shell. I'm not sure if coconuts are indigenous to the area, but oh, I'm, cocoa. I'm not sure. Cocoa. Co yeah, saying. it's a bean. It's a bean, yeah. yeah. A cocoa bean shell? Cocoa bean shell. <laughs> so besides this, what does Catan Studio also have coming out? Anything you can talk about? Uh, well, we have uh, nothing I can really talk about too much right now. We're, we're working on a, a few uh, releases this year. Um, we have a, a scenario release that uh, we partner with a, a charity. Um, okay. I, I, uh, when we announce that, it'll be, it'll be exciting news. Um, we have a, a, a mammoth announcement coming for uh, a Game of Thrones Catan. Uh, fairly soon as well, um, and this is the 20th anniversary of Cities and Knights. Uh, and last year, for the 20th anniversary of sea uh, Seafarers, we introduced Legend of the Sea Robbers, a scenario expansion. So okay. expect a, an announcement for uh, a Legend scenario uh, for Cities and Knights uh, coming cool. soon as well. So if you want to find out more about all the cool stuff that is coming out of Catan Studio, where th where do they need to be? Uh, what's your social media? Yep. You know? So uh, you can. Uh, uh, news will go up on Catan.com. Uh, we have uh, our Facebook page is uh, Catan Community. Uh, Twitter is at Catan. Uh, Instagram is at Settlers of Catan. Uh, go ahead and follow us there when, we're, uh, when we post uh, news. Yeah. And, and You won't miss it. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thanks. I appreciate you coming in. Ian. Yeah, always gonna, a pleasure. Yeah, always fun. So we're going to be here at Gamma for another day and a half, it looks like. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, if you are here and you're watching this and you want to see more about this, check out their booth down in the event hall today. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know the booth number off the top of your head? 407? 407? 403. It's right, it's right you'll in see, the front You'll there. see a big <laughs> sign. <laughs> I should know that. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're not here, uh, again, follow Catan Studio on all their social media platforms and follow us if you haven't followed us yet and you're watching us uh, follow us here on all of our social media and especially Facebook so you don't miss out on all the fun videos and interviews we're doing here at Gamma live here in the big Game Trade Media this studio. Is live? You didn't tell me it was live. Yeah, absolutely live. <laughs> so until the next interview I'm Rick and this has been Ian and we'll see you guys at the game store. Thanks for watching Board Games and Beyond. If you liked it leave a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.